Alright, hey guys, welcome to tutorial number, I think, 17, and in this tutorial I'm going to be teaching you about uh, random colors, and I'm going to make a random, I'm going to make a panel that when you click it, the, the color will change to a random color. Alright, let's get started. First thing we need is we only need one variable and that's a panel. So J panel panel. And a panel is basically like a a component you can put inside your <coughs> frame to hold other things. So public random panel is equal to new J panel. And then um we need to set the background color, so panel set background and then we're going to type in random color and it's going to give us an error here because we haven't made the random color method see cannot find symbol random uh, method random color so but do not worry we will make it now add panel to the frame now we need to make an event uh, class so event equals new event and then um panel add mouse listener I don't know if I've done mouse listeners with you guys yet but basically mouse listener keeps track of what you click your mouse wheel and basically your keeps track of your cursor and mouse actions so now we're gonna build the random color method so public color random color alright and then oh what the heck I gotta go back to the one I already made color random color oh alright public color random color alright so it's giving us an error because we don't haven't made the return statement yet, but we will. So, so a color in Java is made out of um, red, green, and blue tints, and there's 256 possibilities. So we need a random. We need to use the math.random function to make the RGB values to make a color. So, int r is equal to typecast int, and then math.random times 256. And do that for G and B. So G B G B. Alright. Now go down and price return new um color R G B. There we go. Now what this method does is it creates a random color. That's all it does. But it's important because when we spawn <laughs> Yeah, spawn on a random panel. It's gonna have a random color in it, and when we click on it, it's gonna change. And we can keep clicking, and it'll keep changing. So now, whoop! All right, e event public class event implements mouse listener. All right, now uh, instead of whoops, what did I do? All right. Instead of writing out, there's like six or seven methods we have to implement. So instead of writing them all out, I'm just gonna uh, implement all abstract methods. And you can see it came up with like one, two, three, five of them. But we're only gonna use the first one called mouse clicked. So delete the words out of these ones, but don't delete the actual method. Just delete the body of it. So that way it won't do anything, but it's still there. So when we click it, what do we want to happen? We want the panel to set background and we want it to be a random color just like that so when we click it it's going to go to a random color method, it's going to generate a random color it's going to return it and it's going to set it to whatever it generated so uh, that's it and now the main method Alright, and uh, what the? Uh, Alright, 
um, 300-300, and title. Random color panel is what I'm going to call it. So, interview. We've created a random color panel. I mean, not a random. We've created a panel. That panel is a J panel. We set. When that panel spawns onto a dream frame. Its background color is going to be a random color. And we've gave that panel a mouse listener. Now, our ran uh, random color method. It creates random RGB values and creates a new color using RGB right here. And then our event class implements mouse listener and the only one that we're utilizing is the mouse clicked. And we've deleted all of the the bodies out of these ones because we're not going to use those. I think um, the next tutorial will teach you what these ones do. So, And then we click. The panel is going to get a random color. So run it. And here it is. I guess it spawned with a pinkish reddish color. Click it. Now it's greenish. Bright green. Kind of maroonish. Brown. Uh, dark uh, bluish. Kind of blue. Purple. Gray. Cream. See? Just keep clicking. And it'll keep generating new colors every time you click. So. It's pretty cool. But I just wanted to teach you. Basically, what I want to teach you was this um, random color method, which can be used for a lot of different things, not just um, kind of dumb stuff like this. But I said to show you how you could use it, and then you got. Also, I think this is the first time I ever used a panel, so I just want to show you what a panel is. And basically, the panel is the whole thing inside the frame because we didn't specify the size, so it just it took up all the all of the area. So, this purple background thing is a panel. You click the panel, and it changes color. So, and also, I think this is the first time you use the mouse listener. Uh, maybe it's not, but anyways, when you mouse clicked, so you click your mouse, it just sets the background to the random color that was generated in our method, right here. And then, obviously, this you should know that. And yeah. So, have fun with this program, hope you figured it out and understood it, and don't forget to subscribe, and I'll see you next time.